I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What is going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video as today. The Ozark State Outlaws are 2-1, and one, looking to continue our season of success in the SEC against number 20, Tennessee. That kind of rhymed. I enjoyed that a little bit. Not that much. A little bit. We're going to keep it in check. We played Florida, I believe, in the last episode. I've been grinding these out, so currently I record this. It's still in December. You guys might not be seeing this even in January. I'm not really sure. It might be February by the time you're watching this. We'll have to see. I wish I could check out um, the schedule. I probably can, but I'm not sure where to find it at this moment. We are fourth in the SEC at an 86 overall, 86 offense, 87 defense. Or in the SEC West, I should say. In the East. Um, dang, the East is weak this year. Wow. A lot of teams at 500 or below. Kentucky, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Missouri. Even though they're all very, very solid teams. Tennessee's a 99 across the board. And we faced them today. Uh, we're sixth overall in the SEC. 2-1 and one in the conference. LSU and Florida remain undefeated. As we lost to Florida, I believe, for our first loss of the season last week. If I'm not mistaken. It's possible that I am mistaken. I think it was a tough lot game. So here's what we're going to do. In order to make the Dynasty a little bit more difficult, we are going to slightly change the custom AI. Uh, and that is, we did 50-50 for default, except for interceptions. I'm going to turn up CPU everything to 55. So we'll see if that makes it a lot more difficult. I'm going to keep the power on accuracy. The field goal is the same. But those are the changes being made. Just a slight slider tweak to make it harder. And I'm sure it's going to make it a lot harder because that's changing a lot of different things. But uh, I will update you guys very briefly on recruiting. Nothing major to report other than, you know, just still trying to fight the good fight on a lot of these players. We'll see if we can get them. And uh, we're losing it on a lot of these guys. But again, we will see. Recruiting has gone okay this season. Not amazing. Not terrible. Still trying to get some of these safeties. If you guys recall, the free safety pool is incredible. We found out about Zach Mitchell last episode. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get him. It seems very, very unlikely at this point. He was a plus eight gem. But we're so far behind. What I need him to do is lock the door so I can unlock it and jump way up. That's what needs to happen. I think that's the only way we're going to have a legitimate shot at doing so. How many door unlocks do I have? Two. Which means I think it's currently, what, three? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, that's fine. I need to get more Coach XP. The only way we can do that is by winning games. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this Tennessee matchup. We'll come out in small turns. I won't spoil it. I'll see you guys in the game. Feels of Me is out this episode. We saw him last year when we played Tennessee. This time we will not have to face him. That is uh, very good because he was sick last time. We'll see what else Tennessee has for us. The Volunteers are very very good this one could be tough we're number one in turnovers per game um or our, excuse me, our average is one turnover per game uh we're number one in this matchup that's very good we don't turn over the ball that often which is pretty refreshing because in giants franchise on madden i am fairly turnover prone you could say but i feel like in ncaa 14 i've been pretty safe with the football and not too turnover prone so you like to see that all right, probably to get ranked again, it's Ozark State versus number 20, Tennessee. Winning the coin toss, I think, would be big. And we do. We're going to go ahead and start off kicking. Tennessee is in the all, like, orange-ish, like, the all cream, yellowy, whatever that color is, uh, uniforms with the pants and their jerseys. And we are in our away uniforms, except with alternate orange helmets. A lot of Ozark State fans in attendance today. you love to see it. Let's see if we can come out here and get the win on enemy turf. Guarantano going to throw. 
complete to Johnson. That is not Juwan. That is Brandon. Brandon Johnson. And they will play mainly in the hurry up today, it looks like, as we're going to try and blitz Mike Lee from that safety spot. Here's second and five. Handoff to Barry Bonds. No, it's not, but damn. Did he lower the shoulder on that one? Jeremy Bonds picks up the easy first. Guarantano has all day to throw. And the day is over. We're shifting tonight with Fat Albert. Albert Johnson picks up the sack. Guarantano goes down. And yeah, the blocking was insane here. Yeah, no pressure. Guarantano again with a lot of time. He's going to try and run. Now he heaves it up and he's going to have an open man. It's Hendricks. How is that a completed pass? 54 yards on a, a prayer of a throw. Second and nine is a read option. Please get down there, Devin Robeson. That's a good tackle in the open field, to be fair, by Chris Chase. But we bit on the running back so hard, and that is my fault. As a middle linebacker, I need to play the QB there, and I did not. And, of course, obviously we were not effective in shutting it down. It's another read option. Good hit, but uh, Guarantano falls into the end zone. Two-yard touchdown, and Tennessee's on the board early. Going to be 7 nothing. We looked okay overall, need to get a lot more pressure, and we need to not collapse defensively. That's how those 54-yard plays happen out of nowhere. This is one of those places that's really cool to play in because of the size of the stadium. That's something that NCAA 14 does so well that you can't even recreate in Madden, really. It's just the atmosphere and the experience while you're playing. I mean, there really is nothing like it in any sports game I've ever played. NCAA really is an incredible franchise. As we're going to go underneath, hopefully, a little bit, but still down the field to Omar Williams. Underneath the safety is what I meant, and a big 31-yard gain to start things off. We got a lot of good blocks. Josh Shelton trying to juke to the outside following the blocks, and the safety makes an excellent play to shut it down. We're going to roll out with Spencer. I really want to throw to that. Please register. It's intercepted by Warrior. And he will take the knee in the end zone. I knew it was going to be an interception if I threw it. And I threw it anyway. The safeties can take away both routes when you do that sometimes. It's, it's tough. It's a read option. I'm trying to get to the outside. What a good block. And we're going to struggle all day. Yeah, these new sliders, it doesn't seem like it's a big thing to do plus fives. But when Heisman is already difficult enough, especially to tackle, to get pressure, to do all these different things. And then the blocking, noticeably, is so, so much better. Guarantano throwing to the flat. Higgins makes a big hit. Brandon Johnson picks up five. It will be third and six. I imagine Tennessee will stick to the hurry up here, and they will. Guarantano only has one incompletion the entire game. And I really don't have anything I want to uh, run here defensively. I'm not comfortable with any of these concepts. We're only going to blitz two. I hope the coverage holds up. We'll give him stuff underneath. And that is going to be open. Higgins lands a big hit. But Bonds holds on. This is what I'm talking about. It's going to be tough. Guarantano throws at me, and I step down. Opposite of easy reads there. I gave it up. I gave it up to kind of hold the contain, and he just threw it right over me. That's a great pass. That's going to be a great tackle. Devin White can't do it. The ball's on the ground. Recovered by Daryl Bradford. Go, big fella. Stiff arm. And he gets dragged down. I'm not sure that ball came out before that knee touched the ground. I It's it's close. I think it probably came out. And I assume we're going to see a review here. Ah, that left knee was down. Good tackle from Deontay McKeon. Albert Johnson there as well. 
but uh, didn't get too excited for the fumble because I didn't necessarily think it wasn't or was a fumble, and it wasn't. So the play is reversed. We're looking at third and eight. Got to hold Tennessee here to a field goal. The turnover would have been gigantic, but we don't get it. They have four receivers to the left. What is this? Hold on. Let's change. Let's change our entire defensive uh, mindset here. I don't even know what we're doing. We're trying to play underneath. Good tackle from Mike Lee. And they're well short of the first. Field goal is good. Volunteers going up 10-0 over the Outlaws. And we got to shut down the Vols. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long day. Defense, they've been fairly impressive. This Tennessee offense is tough. Got to step up uh, on our offense now. No dumb turnovers. And that's a sack. I mean, we had Y open in the left flat. I didn't see it until I was already getting pressure on me. Tried to throw the ball, but that heat got in quick. So many players unblocked. Oh, my goodness. Third and 16. We got to roll out here. I don't even know what we do. Just try to run with Colby Spencer, and we don't really get much. Nothing looked open downfield, and we are having a very tough day so far. It's an option. Please throw at me. Devin White, get there! No! There are no big jump animations. It's tough. Probably for the best, though. Start of the second quarter. Second and goal. Handoff goes to the running back. And no one can tackle him. Mike Lee was our last line of defense. And it wasn't much. We're going to go down 17-0 to the Vols. They are uh, they're pretty good. It's open. What a play by the defensive back, Stephen Griffin. Yeah, this is this is this is tough. <laughs> Go to the flat there. Shelton is short. We pick up zero. We're getting no separation at all with any of our receivers. Perhaps a slider experiment to go up from a default Heisman is a failure. Because this stuff seems impossible. That's got to be roughing the punter. Roughing the kicker, man. Muffed! Recovered by Ozark State! Oh my goodness. Great teamwork. Yeah, we're killing it. Great teamwork. All right, our biggest gain of the day is from a muffed punt. Pretty wild, as we're going to throw short to Jake Rodriguez. Third and 14 after an annoying loss. And they blitz heavy again. I'm trying to roll out to one of those guys. They sent a looping blitz exactly to that side. We're going to have to try a field goal. They're screaming at me. Field goal is good. We're finally on the board. Down 17-3. to We do receive at the half. A stop and a score before the half would be super beneficial to our victory chances here. Right now, we've been dominated in every sense of the word. The only reason we have points is because we had a muff punt that we recovered. That got us our biggest overall gain of the day. Please throw at me. They're going to the flat. Higgins can't wrap up. Devin White eventually lays the hit, but the first down is achieved. It's a bubble screen. Stovall, great tackle. It's going to be an option. It's going to be a pitch to Johnson. We got to wrap up here with Robeson. All right, I mean, it'll work. It's another screen. Not read well by Chris Chase, but we lay the boom on Marquez Callaway. And we're still going to have a shot here. We're going to press. Hopefully, they don't streak. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Williams has the sideline. He didn't even have it. We just had a chance there. Flat again, wide open. Marshall, big hit. 
Mike Marshall is not going to be wearing number 47 next year. I can guarantee that. We might want to try some more man coverage. I know I'm in zone right now. I need to... They, they've been in the hurry up, and there's nothing I can really do about it right now. Big hit by Mike Lee. They'll probably move back into the hurry up. This might be an opportunity to change into man coverage if there is a good one. I don't really want to send a lot of heat. Two man under is going to have to work for now. We're going to blitz to various Skinner. Third and one. Handoff goes to Bonds. He is stopped just short of the end zone. It's almost certainly going to be 24 to 3. It's a run. Stop him. Again, just short of the goal line. I came out in goal line defense there. Personnel wasn't fantastic for it. And we're just going to have to probably run commit down. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to. We're going to pretend. We need to stop here. Good tackle. Fantastic tackle by number 96. That's Chris Holmes. Going to be third and goal. I'm not in goal line. I guess my time ran out on picking the play. They're going to throw it. There are a few open options. But Bradford gets the pressure and Guarantano throws it out of the end zone. Allowing a field goal here is fantastic. But they are going for it. We're going to come out in goal line again. We need a big stop. To run. It's an option. And Desai Davis, Desi Davis, has an easy touchdown right up the middle. Damn. We need a touchdown before the half. 24 to 10. Is, it wouldn't be that bad. That's a great block. Tony Gates has great speed. 24-10 would not be that bad. 24-6 doesn't really help us that much, in my opinion. We need chunk yardage. And I, I get sacked again. I'm, I'm looking for anything. They want me to just run before the half. Like, I get that Tennessee can get the ball back and score. Their pressure has been relentless so far today. We throw that pass. Jake Rodriguez drops the ball. <laughs> We're going to have to punt. They're going to have a chance to score again. I'm not going to run the ball, though. To, I'm, I'm going to try and score. Because, I mean, the game's over if we don't anyway. If we don't get in the end zone. This is going to be a tough, tough comeback. We probably should be getting shut out here. Quarantano going to run. Ball's on the ground, and he recovers it with his forearm, not even his hand. I don't know if you guys saw that. Over the middle, incomplete. If we get a stop here and they don't go for it, we could, again, score. We can't move the ball, though, is the only problem. And that's a pretty big problem. It's an option. McKeon can't, can't tackle. He's going to have all the space in the world. That's a huge gain. The read option kills us. Guarantano has time, and it's a diving interception to potentially save the game by Derek Higgins. If they score here, I mean, it's probably a GG, and I still am going to try and score. We're from our own three. I can't get sacked. None of our receivers can catch the ball. We are in a really, really tough spot. But if we can roll out here, which is, is how things usually get open. Good stuff from register break attack. I wanted to get out of bounds. I should have called the timeout. I didn't want to go into the hurry up, though. Downfield. Spencer, please hit him. It's Omar Williams. Off to the races. He won't be caught. Touchdown 80 yards before the half. We just needed one guy to burn, and who else but the best receiver on our team, Omar Williams, former five-star recruit, and he's playing like it. That is so big before the half. All right, a pretty brutal first half here in Rocky Top. I don't know, maybe maybe play that song if we beat them. But we are up, or excuse me, down 24-10, and Tony Gates has some space. One man to beat. We're going to juke back inside, maybe a little bit prematurely. And uh, we cut that off. But that could have been a huge return. And it was. But, I mean, obviously you guys saw it. We were going to get caught. I tried to turn it into a touchdown. I should have taken the triple. Instead, we get a double. Love a little baseball. Baseball lingo. And they're sending 
stuff here. We're going to throw that to register. Yeah, I didn't expect that blitz to, to look the way that it did. Wide open to the flat. Get there, Roland Francisco. Good first down. Might try to pick up the pace here. A touchdown only puts us down by a touchdown. So we really can't settle for a field goal here. And we don't really have to push the envelope with how fast we score. We just need to. This is not what I wanted. Hold on. I'm going to do that. Why is it changing my play? I'm just trying to do a hot route. All right. I don't know. I'm going to throw it away. I don't, I don't like any of the options. Slant, open, Roland Francisco holds on. They drop back the defensive tackle. Tennessee is showing me so many exotic looks today and sending so many exotic blitzes. I've never seen them before. I don't know how to react. I've taken um, a lot of sacks, been pressured quite a bit, thrown an interception already. And I don't know if we got separation there. Roland Francisco catches it. Wow, thought that was probably going to fall incomplete or... Worst case scenario, get intercepted, but we are still alive. And I'm not running the ball very much. Maybe that should change, but I'm trying to score as quickly as possible because we have not been able to shut down Tennessee. Just slide, Colby. All right, he picks up the first. And I know it's going to be back and forth. We need to score as quickly as possible. Still. This has been our best drive of the game, though. I don't want to throw Tony Gates. I'm going to lob it, and it's nearly intercepted. I did not see that safety. He blended in so well with the end zone. I know maybe I'm blind, but I'm trying to make all these reads. You, you know, you're glancing quickly across the field, and I did not see him at all. He blended right into the checkers. That's Tennessee. That's a scheme right there. That is a scheme. We're dump off to the running back. Shelton, juke back inside. Josh Shelton, touchdown. All right. We're, it's manageable now. It's manageable. It's going to be 24-17. We got a bug. It is tough. These games are hard for me right now. With these new sliders, we're going to keep them. But, wow. This game has been a struggle and a half, let me tell you. Make the interception, Chris Chase. You upset me. We call the exact defense to stop something like that. And we are not rewarded. We give up five. It's an option. Devin White, good tackle. Still give up six. They're starting running back. Bonds is now out. It's going to be Davis, who we've seen already. It's third and four. Please get a stop. It's out the running back, Davis. I beat him at the point of the catch, and he holds on anyway. That's ah, brutal. Throw that screen. Guarantano going to run, and he picks up seven or eight. I have no answer for anything, anything Tennessee's doing. Oh, good stop, Devin White. We had to commit to that very, very quickly, and they lose five. Very good start for us in this set of downs. We need to hold them to a field goal. Good tackle, Devin White. This time they're losing two or three in the backfield. And can we make a third and 17 stop? You'd have to hope. To screen. Read that. Devin White. Good tackle. Devin White with three tackles for loss on that set of downs alone. He is single handedly keeping us in ball games week to week. It's incredible. Field goal up and good. Never a doubt on that one. Tennessee going up 27 17. We're still very much in this ball game. We got back into it. A touchdown makes us even more competitive. 27 to 24 would be an ideal score. A score, and then if we stop them again, hold them to a field goal, we'll say, and then score another touchdown. Boom, we got the lead, just like that. Looks great on paper. We'll see if we can actually accomplish it. That is a totally different story. Read option, Colby Spencer. We're gonna try a juke here. Good block. Where? Why are you tripping? Don't trip. Just keep going. Oh, my. We're stepping up in the pocket. Running, sliding, first down. Dude, Colby Spencer is killing me with some of these throws. That obviously was not accurate. It brought him down when I said it was supposed to lead him upfield. 
and we would have been facing like third and seven, third and eight maybe. If you could have gotten anything done after the after the catch, would have been obviously a much better position. Regardless, we're gonna go deep down the field, fit it in. No, he's got like 70 throw power. I swear. Fourth and 12. We're gonna have to punt. We're gonna have to punt. Terrible series here. As our offense continues to struggle. Devin White doesn't wrap up. Ball's on the ground. Mike Lee forced a fumble. Recovered by Parrish. And this time, he scores a touchdown. Willie Parrish. Remember he had that interception? That he returned for like 40 yards and couldn't quite get in the end zone? This time, he recovers the fumble and scores a touchdown. As we have receive points here in the most unlikely ways now is a three-point game the ball is just over the outlaws 27 24 that was a huge play third and seven we need a big stop oh it's a screen daryl bradford big tackle davis gains zero yeah let him know daryl that is a huge play Tennessee will punt the ball back and we'll see what our abysmal offense can do. We might go very run heavy on this particular drive. We need a great Tony Gates return. He's been a really good return man for us so far. See what he can do on this one. Uh, not too much. Pressure, we're gonna run. We're gonna dive forward and we got the first down. That ends the third quarter. A little bit delayed on the commentary there as Colby Spencer now up to averaging 1.2 yards per carry of course sacks are factored into that in the NCAA for whatever reason which is unfortunate but I guess don't get sacked and you won't have to worry about it seven minutes to play in the game we are down by three you know to state the obvious we can't afford a turnover as Josh Shelton it's a nice little juke move and we pick up 11. Josh Shelton, more room, and another 10 or 11 yard pickup. Read option. Give me a good block, Jake Rodriguez. That is not it. That is not the good block I needed. He just kind of didn't go after any of the two options. When you saw him not pick up what looked to be the deep safety there, you thought, oh, he's going to pick up the other guy, and then we'll just have to make the safety miss. No, he didn't go for either of them. So they both barreled down. So instead of going for like a juke move there double juke we decided to uh just slide take the outside block jeremy chance only picks up three the blocking in this game is really bad they just don't know who to pick up ever it's very obvious and they just have no clue we're gonna pass slant over the middle omar williams complete for the first down second and goal give me a block to the outside yeah we just didn't get it it's gonna be third and goal tried back-to-back -back runs there was not doing it. All right, we'll see what we can do on third and goal. I'd love to throw to the end zone. Oh, we had X. We're going to roll out with Colby Spencer. I need blocks. Cutting it back inside. Colby Spencer has the end zone. He is trucked in the end zone. But we got the touchdown going up right now. 30 to 27. It's a field goal lead. Extra point, which we know is apparently not a gimme anymore. We'll put us up 31-27. And that is exactly what the score is. They need a touchdown to take the lead. A field goal does not tie. We are now somehow in the driver's seat in our quest to upset a 99 overall team. Make the play. Oh my goodness. Cold 45. Fantastic. He lobs it up. Turn around, Mike. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's still going. He is still going. Brandon Johnson picks up 30. I don't even know how that happened. That is very bad. That's wide open. Where are you going? Chris Chase just kind of like, eh, we're in man coverage, but I don't really feel like playing man. I'm going to play a hook zone. Why? Tennessee's making this drive down the field look really easy, but Albert Johnson with a fantastic tackle. Third and one. This is where we're going to dial it up and send pressure. This is the perfect opportunity, too. We have the lead. A touchdown really does hurt us. 
A first down doesn't so much because it's third and one anyway. And that's got to be an interception! Devin Robeson! He has nothing but daylight, and he's tackled from behind. No! Guarantano, who made the mistake, makes the tackle. But Devin Robeson, with the biggest play of his collegiate career. And now we can run some time off the clock. A touchdown would be massive. Would put us up by two scores. We have so many, uh, or so few yards compared to Tennessee on this game. But, you know, we have more points right now, which is what matters. We've been in this position before. We've blown out teams, but just have not been able to capitalize when it matters, especially in the second half. And Tennessee has had a very, very bad second half. We've been killing it. Good run from Josh Shelton. Good draw. Good juke. Give me a spin back, Josh. Come on. He's having a fantastic game. I know we haven't highlighted it that much, probably. He's only uh, carried the ball 10 times for 5.7 yards. Of course, averaging 5.7 per, car per carry. Uh, did I say 5.7 yards? I meant 57 if I did. Maybe I didn't, but I think I may have. A lot of times when I'm recording these, especially late at night as it is now, I will misspeak on occasion, so you'll have to forgive me. We're going to step up with Colby Spencer, and we are sacked. Thank God he didn't fumble. It's third and seven. I mean, the run had been effective. I do go by coach suggestions to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more spicy. Because we're going to throw the slant there. Rob Gaither takes a big hit. It's fourth and inches. What do we do here? Do we step on their throat? Or do we take the sure points? They would need to drive the length of the field in two minutes. They have no timeouts. A field goal would make this a touchdown game. Wow, I know you're saying, play it smart, take the points. We're the outlaws. We're staying shooting. We're going to step on their throat, shoot them in the head. Big players make big time plays. Read option. Colby Spencer on the quarterback keeper, and he got it. First and goal, outlaws. That would have been disastrous if we did not pick up the first there. Would have been disastrous. You already know Tennessee would have drove down the field in 40 seconds and scored to take the lead. And we wouldn't have been able to come back because our offense has been fairly non-existent today when we haven't been running the ball. We, that was that was a uh, that was maybe a bad decision. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This was this was some type of a game though. And Josh Shelton stopped short of the goal. It's third and goal. Time is ticking off the clock, and we just about have put this game away. Third and goal. Hand off to Shelton. He stopped short. But guess what? That is the ball game. The Ozark State Outlaws are victorious as we have knocked off number 20, Tennessee. A really, really tightly contested SEC matchup. But the Outlaws are victorious. We continue to roll here in season number four. Big plays from the defense won us this game. Colby Spencer's the player of the game. Three total touchdowns, is, that's big time. But the defense really told the tale here. We had some really big players step up. Willie Parrish, Devin White, Devin Robeson. Some really, really big plays that, um, that really made this, this victory possible. Came back down 14 plus. And that was, uh, this was one of the best games of the entire series as far as I'm concerned. Somewhat surprised that this was not an ESPN Classic as this was this was an incredible game it was an upset victory over a you know i guess it's only it's barely a top 25 team but they dominated the first half and then we came back to win omar williams was somehow great i know that 80 yard bomb really inflates his numbers but we could not get anything going through the air which is a little bit surprising for us. Devin White was incredible. Those three tackles for loss all coming on the same drive. Albert Johnson Another just All-American player. That's incredible preseason, I know, but he also had a sack. Interceptions for Devin Robeson and Derek Higgins. The Derek Higgins one, I know we didn't talk about that too much. That was arguably the play of the game because it wasn't a game like dagger, a game-ending dagger like Devin Robeson's was. It wasn't the fumble return touchdown. That was the game changer like it was for, uh, for the linebacker Willie Parrish, but it kept Tennessee out of the end zone before the half 
And this really was, in my opinion, the game-changing moment before the game-defining moment. A forced fumble from Mike Lee and a recovery from Willie Parrish. Derek Higgins also had a recovery. But it, the touchdown from Willie Parrish was, gi was gigantic. That was the official game-changer. Let me know who you think the MVP was. If I had to give it an MVP, it would have to be Devin White. It really would have to be. But big performance by our running back. I know he's kind of going unheralded here. But three, uh, 13 carries for 58 yards. He was very solid. He came up clutch when we needed him to. And that's why we won the game here. 31-27. On the back of our running back. Which is how a lot of people want this series to be anyway. And I can't blame you. That is going to do it for this week, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next week, we're going to take on number 25, Arkansas. Will they be ranked number 25 when we face them? That is an interesting question. But that's going to do it for me. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.